morning. I am up a whole lot earlier than I like to be, but that is part of getting ready for a triathlon. So uh, I have to drop off my son at a camp and it's only a week long, but what I did is coordinated after I drop him off for a, a uh, carpool that I was gonna do my exercise and my training. So I've done running twice this week. Today I'm gonna do swimming. <clears throat> and part of getting ready for this whole thing is that you have to make sure when you're doing your training you've got everything prepared the night before to make sure your day goes smoothly because now that you're training, you're adding in an extra part of your day that you, you're not used to doing. So the running actually was the easiest for me because I could just take out any workout clothes and get that ready. Swimming, however, is a little bit different. I have to make sure that I have a, a towel and what I'm gonna swim in and then what I'm trying to um, train for. So. I actually do not own a pair of goggles yet, so I b borrow the gargle, goggles, borrow the goggles, and then I also borrow a cap so I can practice putting on a cap. You don't need a cap to practice with. However, I was told that if you're going to swim in a pool on a consistent basis, you want your hair covered because it's going to totally ruin your hair. <clears throat> I have enough issues with hair. I don't need it ruined, but it made a whole lot of sense that each year I have issues with my hair being dry and breaking and things like that. So it was an eye opener for me. That's another thing that when you're doing a triathlon, you learn a lot about your health that you weren't aware of before. And uh, one of the greatest side effects is you're learning more about your body, you become healthier for it, and you're, you tone up everywhere. It's fabulous. It's the best weight loss program, I think. So I will get back to you again in the next video. Signing off, this is Katrina Garcia. Bye.